Um, the wires are really tight right here, very close. Um, you can actually take a pair of pliers and uh, smash these down just a little bit just to tighten them up. But this is all the support. This board gets the support um, directly off these capacitors. So that's pretty good. And then I'll bend these out just a little bit to hold it. And you can actually use a pair of them. Um, and you can take a alligator clip like this and, and just hold it right here. And that will give you a nice flat surface to work with. So you've got this one in here. It's pretty well straight. Um, you want these caps to be as short as possible. I'm fiddling around with this one more than I'd like, but... Once you pretty much have it in place, you can go ahead and solder it. I like to solder both sides. can see right here fairly hot iron still not happy with the position of my cap here Okay, you'll see I've got I've got this one done now. Um, I've got both of the jumpers on this side. I've got the capacitor um, pretty much got the capacitor soldered in on both sides. Um, take a look and notice the direction of the capacitor. It's pretty important to keep this pretty straight with this board right here, and you'll see why in just a minute when I put on the next board. But I just want to show you that how it's done. I um, also did my jumpers. Um, on this board and if we can get the focus in there you go you can see right there one two three and I combine two and three together they're right there um, just with a glob of solder make sure I didn't bridge over between one and two that labels this as board number two and you can see we're in the two slot and two and three uh, that's the address uh, of the jumpers so for the next one, when you get your next cap, it's a little bit different. Um, you need to bend it. You need to bend it so that one is fairly close to the board, or fairly close to the can, like you did before, and the other one's just a little bit taller before you bend it over. And you'll see that in a minute. They still are pretty parallel, um, but you need the one longer just to get the right angle on the cap when it goes on the board. Um, so that this cap, when it goes on the board, it should end up parallel to this one. So you drop the positive side and the positive side. And it is the negative side that's a little bit taller, or a little bit longer here. Um, and then when you drop it in here, you should get something fairly, you know, fairly parallel. Um, sometimes you got to fiddle with it. Um, but that's kind of what you're looking for. You want these just like in line together. Um, like this. This over overhang into this slot's okay. Um, that's just kind of the way it goes. And you take your next board and make sure. The other thing I guess I didn't I didn't make clear is when you're when you're working with your BL controllers, you have two different types. You've got you've got the 
the ordinary standard um, addressing and then there's special ones with what they call special software they don't say what the software is it just allows them to address the higher so you'll see it here with the with a white dot on it um, this tells it that it's it's a higher address um, so these go on the hexes they are the five and six location um, because with the um, addresses that you have on the back there isn't enough to go over four um, so this allows it to go to the five and six um, check the documents on uh, the jumper settings for each one it'll also go to seven and eight if you have a if you have a octa um, so these are special these go in on the ends like five and six or five six seven eight on a, on the octa but right now we're just going to go ahead and do number three and it's pretty much the same thing it's just a it just a, they alternate these so if you see see i got the the b cba right there and the cba is on the outside on the even ones and on the odd ones they're on the insides um, so it's the same thing just line up the cap and uh, with it upside down and then gently ever so gently and try and try and make sure you leave yourself a gap you gotta leave enough gap so when you start bending you can clear this if you get it too close to this it'll be too tight and you'll end up breaking the board so just really gently um, give yourself enough space but you still want it snug but give yourself enough space that you can make this bend right up in there and then again I'm trying to keep this cap straight at the same time and uh, that's pretty much it so that's the only differences between the two